In this video, we're going to show you how to install a seat foam. So you, you purchase a seat foam from us at Guts Racing, and we're just going to do a quick little video on some tricks on how to install it properly. First thing you're going to want to do is take your seat. This one here is a stock cover on it, right from the factory. You're going to need a staple remover like we use, or a flathead screwdriver with some needle nose pliers. Any option works. And you'll just go around the seat, and you're just going to pop out all the staples. You know, depending on what tool you have. Just like that and you'll go around the whole seat and remove all the staples to get your stock seat cover off. Now we have the stock cover off and now we have the stock seat foam on. And this is a brand new bike that's never been ridden so the foam is going to be glued really well. But the first thing you want to notice when you're taking it off is like I'm going to peel it off like I would stickers off of a plastic. I'm not just grabbing it and ripping it because it'll damage it. You never know when you might need your stock seat foam again if it's in good shape. But I'm just going to lightly run my fingers under here and slowly start popping the foam from the base. And if this is your first time ever installing a seat foam, the next step you want to really make note of is where the factory glued the seat. As you can see, they only glued across the back there, lightly glued here in the middle and in the front. I've seen people excessively glue their foams on and then it's crooked and then they try to remove it and re-glue it and it just damages it. We don't want that to happen. So you got your guts seat foam here that you ordered. You always want to make sure before you tear this bag open and start installing that it's the correct firmness and the correct height and the correct one for your model of bike. Because seat foam, once it gets dirty or installed, we can't take it back on return or exchange. So now we want to copy the factory glue job. We just have some spray adhesive from a hardware store and I'm just going to lightly spray based on the directions off the can a little bit to the foam just like this, in this general area that the stock one was. I'm going to take the base and do the um, same step. Just a little bit on the back, a little bit here in the middle, a little bit in the front. Most glue uh, labels will have a time for it to set, you know, for it to get um, tacky to install. Our glue typically takes about three minutes, but you can accelerate it by fanning it. So, we'll... yep, it's nice and tacky. On this bike here, I'm just going to start at the back, just kind of lightly put pressure on it as I go, because if I need to reposition it, I can lift it off and reposition it. But it looks like it's going pretty smooth. I'm going to push down here, get a nice, good, even seal on the foam to the base and then now you have your gut seat foam installed on your on your base and then you can reattach your stock seat cover if you choose starting at the front and going to the back you can watch any of our installation videos on seat covers this video here was just to highlight the foam installation thank you for your purchase at guts racing see you on the next one